LCD sound system, this is happening. Hello, my needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. And before we get too deep into this review, I do want to take a second to say, rest in peace, Mr. Ronnie James Dio. You will sorely, sorely be missed. You're the man. And today we're taking a look at a new album from LCD Sound System. This is happening. LCD Sound System is a dance, punk, post-punk, who cares project fronted by vocalist, multi-instrumentalist, and producer James Murphy. This is the band's third LP, and it's allegedly their last. And I know a lot of people are freaking out about that, but I'm sure it's not going to be the last piece of music that James Murphy ever makes. And the choice of ending the band, especially here, I'm sure has caused a lot of controversy, but after this LP, I don't think anyone can say that these guys didn't fight all the way up until the end. Here, LCD Sound System is really, really aiming for the dance floor. I mean, I know they usually are with their music, but I would say especially on This Is Happening, they're a lot less concerned about, ooh, making a poppy track, making a concise track, get the hot single out there, get the hook in there. This LP is built on a really strong foundation of long, adventurous dance tracks that really remind me of bands like Yellow Magic Orchestra, James White and the Blacks, and especially talking heads. I mean, these are the drum beats that dance music was on. Just fantastic percussion all the way throughout this LP. You've got some really unique yet nostalgic synth sounds that remind me of a lot of singles from the 80s. Emotive vocals that are always believable, never flat, never boring, and the production is freaking top notch and bumps the hell out of my speakers. And James Murphy brings these really harebrained, weird, eccentric lyrics that just catch me off guard. And is there a method to his madness? I have no clue. Some of it makes sense on the surface, and some of it doesn't. Does that matter? No. So you've got nine tracks here, and the songs are extremely, extremely ambitious. You've got to have serious balls to be putting out nine-minute songs these days. But honestly, no song really feels as long as it actually is, with a lot of subtleties, really fun vocals, great instrumentation, fantastic building. Each track just really flies by. I know this is the point where maybe I won't see eye to eye with a lot of people, but I don't think not one song, maybe with the exception of Somebody's Calling Me, not one track gets boring or drags on or really feels static. Each track is always moving, always shifting, always changing into something different, which makes it kind of an evolutionary experience. This is a dance floor, not a ballet, son. A lot of variation keeps the whole LP feeling just fresh from beginning to end, too. Drunk Girls is a really fiery single, which I've reviewed before on the channel, and is quite possibly one of the most immediate tracks on the LP. All I Want is a sweet little love song that clocks in at almost seven minutes, but has really great wailing guitar leads, just a casserole of layered instrumentation, and some atmospheric synths, too. And for some reason, the track One Touch kind of reminds me of Nine Inch Nails with how moody it is and significantly darker than every other track on the LP. Just early Nine Inch Nails. And really, this is one of the few times that dance music actually comes off as epic. And This Is Happening has fantastic musicianship, fantastic sounds, production, just everything. And my only gripe is something that I mentioned already in this video. I didn't really care for the track Somebody's Calling Me. I was okay on it. I feel like it just could have been more eventful. But other than that, I'm just loving the hell out of this album. I can't get over how fun it is. This is just over 60 minutes of dance music, and each moment is moving, sweaty, and infectious. Now I have to warn you, if you're looking for something that is simple, straightforward, to the point, this may not be what you're looking for. These tracks build, they really take their time, and they do not edit themselves. We have some long tracks here, my friends. We have some long tracks. Drunk Girls, which is a track that I'm sure a lot of you have heard, is the shortest and the only single-esque track on the LP. The rest of the album is pretty much just 
drawn out, adventurous, exploring every nook, cranny, and idea that they can within a given song. I'm not feeling a light nine on this. I'm not feeling a strong nine on this, but I think I am feeling an honorably decent nine on this frickin' album. It's just really good. It's really good. For me personally, I already love to death the type of music that this album pulls from, so it pretty much just hits home for me with my musical tastes. I mean, I just love post-punk music, especially the dancier, more disco-influenced side of it, and that's exactly where this album's coming from, so of course I'm a little biased in that direction. But if you've heard this LP, and if you like LCD Sound System, any of James Murphy's work, what do you think of this LP? Do you like it? Do you hate it? And why? What's your favorite part of this album? What's your least favorite part? Anthony Fantano, LCD Sound System. This is happening forever.